up, YouTube? Topaz Ace back for another daily review, and this one is to Lil Yachty the Race Remix, man, and I'm giving this one the real light because it's not very good at all. But yet, the reason why I wanted to review this is because this is how songs go super viral and really build up a person's individual name and all that. Because what this is is one, a bunch of different people remixing the same song, and it's from a guy named Tay K. And then it's the story that's behind it that intrigues individuals to go ahead and seek him out to understand more about him and all that, dude. Because one, a bunch of different people have been making remixes, not only Lil Yachty, but XXX, Tentacion, and a few others have been doing remixes of this to the point that you might hear this more often than actually knowing who the originator was. And that comes along with a lot of individual people trying to ride the wave of an individual track success and all of that. But ultimately when you look at Lil Yachty who's popping and stuff right now, this is more him trying to shout out this guy that's going through his own issues because the story that's behind it is that this song was released on the day that Tay K, the guy who originated the song, got arrested. Which Tay K is a guy who's been doing his thing on SoundCloud for a very long time, but this one is ultimately going to that next level because he got caught up in like an armed robbery type thing, man, where a body fell, so he's honestly going to get caught up with that body. And this is America in a nutshell and such, man. When it comes to black people, if you get caught up in something like this, then you're going down with everybody that surrounds you, you dig? But yet, when you see these white people out there in Charlottesville, dudes sped up and ran in and murdered somebody in his car, man, vehicular homicide, he only is going to be the one who's getting arrested for that man, while the whole group that he was with, that they had all of the same uniforms and all of that stuff and they was marching and protesting together, none of them are going to get touched, even though it's pretty much the same thing here. But the breakdown of this track, man, is pretty terrible because there's zero lyricism involved here. Like, honestly, if you're going to remix a individual's particular song, then one, you have to make it better than the original, and the best way to go about it is to add more lyricism than the original actually had. But we all know that Lil Yachty is far from a competent lyricist that's out here, even though he did have a few moments. Said that his circle was tighter than a Bantu and such, and which that was rather solid when you understand what a Bantu is, and that's like a knot that these females put their heels in and all of that, and a lot of times it can be super tight because it's African based and all that, which that's pretty cool but that's pretty much all it goes into. Outside of that, he's doing a bunch of shout out rap, where he's shouting out Tay K, Free Tay K, starts shouting out individuals that he know is locked up, but then he goes into certain knowledge that he wants to teach to other individuals. Like when he said that he's never been shot and he doesn't plan on that ever happening because it's stupid and I feel him on that. He also saying that okay just let that chick go if she's not trying to let you smash and all that like don't go the whole extra level and ultimately catch a case because of it which I feel him on that too. Then he preaches the hood rule on you never smash the homies chick and all of that but then he flips it saying well my old homie that I'm not even been cool with, he went on ahead and smashed his old chick. But outside of all of this, man, he did have a bunch of subpar balls up in there, too, where he's talking about that same chick that he snatched up from his ex-homie and all that, saying that he got her snorting more balls than a ball code, which can see where that ultimately came from. Like, okay, the ball code got so many balls within it and all of that, man. But that ultimately falls flat on so many different levels, man. Honestly, track is pretty terrible here. But a quick recap here, the pauses that I'm taking from this it's not much like honestly he does have some moments where he's saying some interesting thoughts but ultimately I wouldn't even call these solid balls but yet the negatives is pretty much everything about it but this concludes today's review man and now we're going to jump into a brief instrumental from underground producer Terry Vibes before we jump into the news and then jump into an article from downloadpass.com Now this is something that I never even knew about man, that Drake ever since he came out back in 09 into the commercial industry and all that, he has always been on the Billboard Hot 100. For 8 years man, this guy has consistently charted and this is why he's got such a massive amount of success out there in this game right now, you did. But yet this all snapped recently and you know all records are meant to be snapped eventually man, but yet this was just crazy that this even happened. But anyway on today's article from DownloadPads.com and today's article is about the false 
more high ground, man. Because this is the thing that kills me, how individuals will try to shun other individuals by taking the more high ground, but yet whenever you look into the past and look into anything that they're trying to do, then ultimately you realize how full of crap they are. Like, honestly, nobody should be trying to take the more high ground because all of us do our own dump and such. But great example of this would be the Double XL freshman class where they sat up and said, we're not going to let Playboy Cardi be a part of this because he got caught on film beating up a woman while they added Triple X Tentacion who got caught beating up a woman. So it's contradictory. It honestly comes off as you got something against Playboy Cardi. And this is the thing that's just super annoying about all of this stuff, especially with record labels and all that, because they want to point the finger and say, oh, all you guys, by downloading all of this music and stuff, you're dismantling all the music you guys all right. But yet, they've been stealing from artists for as long as they've been in existence. You feel me? So that's why I honestly have no sympathy for the music industry as it goes through its struggles and all of that, man, because they try to take that false moral high ground when they have no leg to stand on. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there, and you can go to downloadpads.com that's down there to read today's article.